Pandas are mostly located in central China. Pandas are usually in zoos or in mountains at elevations that are above one kilometer. There are only 1,600 left in the world and 300 of them are in captivity. In order to have a panda, zoos around the world pay the Chinese government $1 million per year for each breeding pair. $1 million per year is not as much as Kobe gets, but it's still pretty swag. 99% of their diet is bamboo, and they eat 20 to 40 pounds a day. Unlike other bears, pandas don't hibernate. Instead, they travel to lower elevation to seek warmth. China's pandas are endangered for many reasons. The species has a very low birth rate. In addition, pandas in central China are losing the habitat because of expansion of farmlands. The new farms mean less bamboo for pandas. China has also been cutting down bamboo for firewood and not replanting. China is the most populated country in the world, and every year they need more space, so they move into the pandas' habitat. Humans are trying to save the giant pandas from extinction. Since 2005, the Chinese government had established many panda reservations spanning over 2.5 million acres and home for 60% of pandas in the wild. While they are still endangered, the panda population is slowly, slowly growing. Orangutans can be found in Malaysia and Indonesia. Orangutan means person of the forest in Malaysian. They have a distinctive body shape with very long arms that may reach up to two meters in length. Orangutans can live up to 60 years in zoos, but only half that in the wild. About 97% of orangutans' genetic makeup is the same as humans. They live in an unusually solitary life unlike the other apes. Their diet consists of fruit, like mangoes and figs. They are capable of using many different tools. There are only about 20,000 orangutans alive in the wild. Another 900 are in captivity. Orangutans are endangered. Cutting down and burning trees destroys the orangutans' natural habitat. People cut down the trees to grow palm oil plantations. Palm oil is added to food so it becomes thick and creamy. Orangutans are easy targets since they are not especially fast, and they often hunted as an exotic food. There is hope for orangutans. The Malaysian government has created breeding grounds for them, and has also made it illegal to hunt orangutans. This has increased the orangutans' population, and has halted many of the killings, but there is still work to be done. The fishing cat is found in Southeast Asia. It is twice the size of a domestic cat. Unlike some other cats, the fishing cat actually enjoys water. The fishing cat lives typically in wetland areas such as marshes, mangrove areas, and swamps. It has a webbing between its toes to help it walk on marshy areas. This gives them more traction. The fishing cat is in no way associated with rainbows, nor does it look like a pastry. Fishing cats do meow and purr like domestic cats, but are actually vicious hunters. They patiently pat the top of the water to attract the attention of fish, hence the name Fishing Cat. The Fishing Cat depends on freshwater lakes and rivers as their habitats. These areas are getting depleted because humans are expanding into forests. Human overfishing robs them of their food source. The cat is also hunted for its pelt, body parts, and for medicinal purposes. They have a high tolerance for human activity and therefore is easier to hunt than many other cats. Breeding programs in Southern Asia are trying to repopulate the fishing cat. Additionally, they are being placed in protected habitats to try and keep them as safe as possible. The fishing cat also has laws banning the hunting of it, and poachers often ignore these laws. Polar bears live in frigid parts of the Northern Hemisphere. Their fur appears white, but is actually clear. The sun's light causes it to appear white. Unlike other bears, they are not territorial and will often share hunting grounds. There are about 22,000 left in the wild. Polar bears never fully hibernate, but do slow down their metabolism in the winter. They are solitary animals until they find a mate and have cubs. Polar bears almost always have twins at birth. The male bears remain solitary after mating, and the female raises the cubs. The polar bears mainly feed on ringed and bearded seals and can swim a hundred miles. 
the main threat to polar bears is global warming. They are becoming endangered because the warming causes the Arctic ice to melt. Polar bears walk out onto the ice to hunt for seals. As ice recedes, it becomes more difficult for them to hunt. After being hunted almost to the point of extinction in the 60s and 70s, hunting laws are in place and the polar bear population has stabilized. The polar bear is technically not endangered. It's officially listed as vulnerable. Environmental groups are trying to get it listed as endangered since their habitat is melting at a critical rate. Even if polar bears are ever classified as endangered, courts ruled that the Endangered Species Act cannot be used to fight global warming.